Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. How to fix the problem of incoming voice call goes into voicemail without ringing. Also fixing the problem not receiving SMS messages on LG V40 10Q. Sometimes on LG V40 10Q incoming calls go straight into voicemail and the phone does not ring. But you can receive calls on WhatsApp. Also sometimes SMS message is not received though your contact tells you that he or she sent it. Both problems have same solution. Watch the video until the end. Make sure your phone is not in silent mode. It should not be in vibrate only mode. It should be in sound mode. Also make sure volume for ring tone is high. If your phone can access internet with Wi-Fi and also with mobile data, then try restarting the phone. After restarting, ask a friend or family member to call you. Your phone should ring and you should be able to receive his or her call. The same applies for not receiving SMS messages problem. After restarting, SMS messages you did not receive earlier will show up in your SMS inbox. Problem solved. If the previous step solved your problem, then make it a habit to restart your phone each day. Best thing is to restart it before plugging it, plugging it in for recharging before going to sleep at night. If the previous step did not help, then make sure the phone can connect to internet on Wi-Fi and also on mobile data. If one or both are not working, there may be an issue with your account with your network operator. Call your network company like AT&T or T-Mobile and make sure your account is active. No use trying to diagnose your phone when your account has an issue. Next step is to delete cached data. If your issue has been resolved, stop. Else perform the steps I will present now one by one. After each step, test that your issue has been resolved. If so, stop. Else proceed to next step. On my phone, I click on the settings, then I click on the storage, then it calculates uh, the storage values. I click on internal storage, and then I click on free up space, and then I uh, click, I select this, and then it gives me temporary files and raw files cache data so i select this i select this i select this i select all three cache data clip tray of temporary files raw files from camera and then i s click on delete and it's a delete the selector file delete it deleted everything now i'm going to tell you how to reset network settings so from the home screen i have this settings icon i click on that then I get this screen, it has an icon for system, so I select, I click on system, then there is restart and reset, I click on that, there is an option network settings reset, I click on that, it tells me this will reset all network settings including Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, so I can click on reset settings and it will reset all my settings now I will tell you how to check that your your phone software is up to date so from home screen I click on settings then I get this option system I click on system then 
there is an option here update center i click on update, update center there is an option software update i click on that it tells me there is an option check now for update so it says last update may 20 2020 so i click on that and he's saying you are using the latest software version for current os if the software version was old then it would give me an option to update my software but right now i'm okay because i'm using the latest software update okay now i will tell you how to do a factory reset of my phone that means install everything here the way it came when i bought this phone so from the home screen i select settings then there is an option for system i do system then there is an option for restart and reset I, uh, I click on that there is an option here called factory data reset so i select that it tells me that this will delete all data from inter internal storage including login data for google and other accounts system and app data all downloaded apps digital rights management licenses music images documents and backups other user data so if i select if i click on this button reset phone it will reset my whole phone it will it will install everything the way it came when i bought this phone however before i do this i must get, take a backup of any data for example i should make a backup of my whatsapp messages and images and or whatever and any other apps which has data installed on this on this computer so it's very important uh, however it will not reset what is on your SD card, your external SD card, because that's considered an extra, extra storage. Okay. Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button below. You should also share this video with your friends by clicking on the share button below. You can share it via WhatsApp, via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or via email. Please also write your thoughts in the comment section below so that others may benefit from your thoughts. You can also click on the bell icon so that you will be informed when I post new videos. Thank you.